Okay, I wanted to talk about uh, Bluetooth versus Wi-Fi for uh, connection to a device. Okay, so let's say we have a walkway coming up to some stairs leading into a house. And there's our front door. And here's our homeowner. But our homeowner can't walk up and down stairs, so we've Put a device here that's like a chairlift, and we want them to be able to use their smartphone to control the chairlift. Okay, now the first way you might want to do this would be Bluetooth. So the chairlift would have a Bluetooth radio, and the cell phone has a built in Bluetooth radio. So the first time after installing the device, the chairlift, uh, you'd have to pair the phone with the Bluetooth device in the chair. Okay, and once it's paired, uh, the smartphone will be able to connect to the chair anytime it's within about 30 feet. Um, of course, you'd also want a app on the phone to help control to control the the uh, the chair, but the app would use the Bluetooth connectivity for that. And that would be fine. There's millions of devices that work that way. Um, if you've ever worked with Bluetooth devices, pairing them and keeping them paired and unpaired can be a little tricky sometimes. It can, you can kind of pull your hair out sometimes, but it can be done. Many devices out there that do it. But because um, it is a little frustrating sometimes to get Bluetooth to work, um, some people have gone the newer route, which is uh, Internet of Things. Now, there's two ways we can do Wi-Fi, and that, that's Internet of Things, of course, is the Wi-Fi. So one is we would have a, a Wi-Fi chip on here, something like the 8266, and, the, and your uh, cell phone would be able to see the Wi-Fi signal on the, uh, the chip. But it would see it just like it would see any other Wi-Fi. So let's say this person has Wi-Fi for their house, and their neighbor has Wi-Fi, and their neighbor's neighbor has Wi-Fi. So you would have to go into the phone, into the Wi-Fi settings, and select the particular Wi-Fi that is on this chip for the chair. Once you connect to it, and of course you have to enter your password and all that, then you could use an app on your phone to connect to the chair and control the chair. Problem is, when you want to get back on your Wi-Fi, you're going to have to go back into your internet settings, into your Wi-Fi settings on the phone, and disconnect from the chair and reconnect to your Wi-Fi. And you're gonna to have to do that every single time you wanna use the chair. Every time you wanna choose the chair, you're gonna to have to get off of Wi-Fi and get onto this Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, cell phones can only use one Wi-Fi at a time and you have to tell it which one to use. Um, and if your phone is set up to automatically switch to the strongest Wi-Fi, it could end up bouncing back and forth between the two, um, which can be really annoying. And this is why this is not really what Internet of Things is. You notice there's no Internet involved here if I directly connect my cell phone to the Wi-Fi on this chip here. So Internet of Things doesn't work that way. What Internet of Things does is this Wi-Fi chip will connect through Wi-Fi to the homeowner's Wi-Fi. And then through the Internet, through the Wi-Fi uh, Internet connection, it will connect out um, to a cloud-based service. So you've got a service running in the cloud that could be running on Azure or it could be running on, on Amazon or Google. There's, there's, and there's all kinds of um, messaging services out there on the internet. But anyway, you would have to, uh, the company that makes the chair would have to either be running their own service or they would have to contract with somebody else to run a service that their phone would use the internet to connect to the service and then the app on the user's phone would connect to that same service in the cloud, and that's how you would connect to the chairlift. So as you can see, that is by far the most, most complicated way to do it, but it once it's all set up, it can be the more robust way to do it um, because it's Wi-Fi, and because Wi-Fi is it has a longer range, a stronger signal, it, it's uh, it can be more robust than the uh, than the Bluetooth, and 
you'll still be able, and, and you're, you're going to have to have connection to the internet with the phone. So you can still have connection to the internet while you're controlling the chair. You're, the phone is now not dominated by a direct by a, by a Wi-Fi connection directly to the chair the way it would be if we had the, the phone directly connect to the Wi-Fi in the chair. So that that's why you go that way so you don't end up make, turning the phone into a connect to the chair only device. Okay, so that's that's really your three options, and that's I just wanted to uh, show the the differences between Wi-Fi uh, direct. Wi-Fi and internet through the internet, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, thank you very much.